friends. I have been um, unpacking stuff from our storage unit from our move two and a half years ago. Um, and I am unpacking a whole bunch of my old art journals. So I thought I would take this opportunity to do um, a couple of art journal flip through videos on some completed journals, which is very exciting. So this is the one I'm going to start with. This is a Jane Davenport. Oh, there's the Jane Davenport. Uh, I think this is like an eight by 10, nine and a half by 11, not sure. Anyway, it's a big um, Jane Davenport journal. And I really liked this journal. The quality of the paper is really good. Um, the, and it is a, ch it's chonky. Look at that. Look at all those good pages. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll flip through it. So let me uh, turn the camera around and we'll get into it. Okay, let's get into it. This uh, journal came unpainted and I do not think it was my intent to <laughs> to make it this bluey green color, but you know, I painted it with some kind of acrylic paint and you know, I think it I think it turned out all right. I like the color. Obviously I am a messy art journaler, lots of blobs and splodges, no big deal. Um, my, okay. So I usually keep my contact information on the front cover of the journal. Um, so good, good practice if you keep an art journal, just in case I were to leave it somewhere. Okay. Um, item number one, this is, um, an exercise that I think was from a class I took from Vonda White, um, Vonda Wright, Vonda White, I can't remember. Anyway, it was basically a very intuitive, um, art making class and you just sort of follow your intuition. And I have no idea what this means, um, but this was what came out of my brain on that particular day. So there you go. Um, then we've got front page. Um, I tipped in, I think this is a jelly plate just from a magazine, magazine jelly plate, plate transfer that I was just messing around with. Um, let's see here. This I think is magazine clipping that I had used for a jelly print implant. Implant? Ha! Huh. I have not been sleeping well the last um, week or so and my cognitive abilities are not great. I am not at the top of my game. Um, let's see here. I made a little pocket out of it with some business cards that I got I think on a on an excursion to um, Jamestown in Central Valley of California. There's some watercolor swatches behind there. This is, I think, Jane Davenport um, mixed media stuff. Her girl underneath there, plus I drew another girl. You can sort of barely make her out. I don't know, you know, this is kind of fun. Maybe while we're Maybe while we're here, we'll just do a little, as I see, as I'm inspired to do it. Let me pick up, gotta find a good pin. Oh, oh gosh, I keep picking up all the teeny tiny little ones. There we go, that's good. Uh, I don't want a teeny tiny one. Okay, let me make out her face. There we go. So you can kind of see where she is. Just very. I just tied to it. See, there you go. I didn't realize this was going to be a journaling session as well. All right, and just random collage back. There's all kinds of stuff in there. All kinds of collage back there. I think I actually did this. Um, several years ago when we went on a family vacation to Mexico. That was probably four years ago, three, four years ago. 
um, yeah, fun. Same with this one. I did that on the, the same trip. Um, this is, I think that's an, a Jane Davenport um, transfer. That's a Jane Davenport. Both of those are Jane Davenport transfers. Random little girl. I think because I was in Mexico, she's sort of Frida Kahlo-esque inspired. I must have had also some sort of apple purchase because this made it in there and then of course um spanish for apple in there more watercolor swatches i think this was probably the watercolor set that i brought with me on that particular trip i think these also are jane davenport watercolors um this was a very jane davenport era my jane davenport era um so i think there's quite a few things that'll show up in here as jane davenport um magazine jelly print transfer rando collage on top of crazy ass background um this definitely was in mexico it goes this way i don't know if you can see that in the there we go um but this, uh, I remember in the resort that we were staying when we checked into our rooms, there was this um, delightful bowl of guacamole and chips and, you know, margarita glasses <laughs> set up. And it, I just thought it was really cute. So whipped down a little sketch of it. Um, more Jane Davenport collage stuff, washi tape. Ooh, I think I used some, um, what is that? Uh, molding paste on here because I don't know if you can see that but that is very very textury right there and there's texture all over this page um, although I do tend to use or try to use more matte paints in my art journal otherwise the pages get sticky definitely another um, one from that Mexico trip I think inspired by the beach and the waves sand dollars slash jellyfish thingies um, this one definitely also on that same trip, there was a fountain with a stingray in it. And I think that's what inspired this particular guy just messing around with faces. Also on the same Mexico trip. Oh, look, I even wrote, um, notes down here. Inspired by the fish display at La Comer, um, Pescado. Yeah, they just had a beautiful display of fish and you can see just the gorgeous um, granulation in the watercolors. Yeah, that was fun, just messing around. Um, okay, this random background, some kind of mishmashy jelly plate transfer. <laughs> I think there's an eyeball in there. Can you see it? That's the eye. Yeah, I think that's the eye right there. Oh, this is very textury. It's kind of hard to, to get. Yeah, that's really the only feature that I'm making out there. Mm, this might be lips. That might be lips there. But I don't know that for sure. I'm gonna make it lips. All right. Uh, this was, we when we were on that Mexico trip, we went to this amazing artist um, gallery. It was a, his gallery and also um, his home. And it was phenomenal. It was so cool. Um, inspired by the statue. I need to put my glasses on. Near the port. Oh, near the port in San Jose del Cabo. So this was near there. And then this one inspired by a visit to Frank Arnold Art. That was the um, artist where we saw his his home studio and just wow I was so inspired by everything there this was a giant statue that he had out front um really really cool okay now I think we're out of the Mexico art journal stuff random face washi tape messy background I think I might have been watching like a Muhammad Ali documentary or something. That might have been what, what this one's from. Um, not a super good likeness, but you know what? It's fun. This one was from a road trip um, in Central Oregon, kind of inspired by the, 
the landscape uh july 2018 okay very good rando messy background collage sun oh you can hear can you hear that that is where i did not use matte paint where i used some glossy stuff and it's sticky um, another rando page, collage, paint. I don't know what that is. There's a face in there. Uh, another sun, book pages, mark making. This is a spread from that same class that I took from the very beginning one. It's funny. You can kind of see the similarities there. Um, yeah, again, intuitive, don't know what it means. Could make up a story about it, not really sure. This to me looks like a big spirit dog and there's two people over here, don't know who they are, don't know what they're doing, but you know, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see, this was, ooh, I think this is where I cut out some silhouettes from magazines and I was using them as masks. I have, I went through a phase where I did that a lot. I just love the kind of graphic contrast. Um, this is a jelly print transfer that I did. It's a heart, yeah, random collage. This also has a ton of texture on it. I don't know if you can see, but probably more modeling paste. It's like I used stencils. This is crazy. We've got some tip-in jelly print. Uh, magazine resists, collage, um, I think that's another jelly print, more rando collage. Here's more where more work where I was cutting out silhouettes and doing, um, using them as a mask. This moon, and I feel like she's kissing the moon. There's some sort of story going on here. Um, this is another one from that intuitive painting class that I took. Um, again, I have no idea what it is. And I think underneath here, you can see sketches from when I took a Jane Davenport um, face drawing class. And this was all about like different emotions and how you can make very simple adjustments to the eyes, the mouth, the nose, the eyebrows to uh, demonstrate a bunch of different emotions. Let's see here, Studebaker Cruise, Rod and Road, August 2018, that was outside of Oakdale. Um, yep, in my dad's Studebaker, very cool. Um, this, these two pages also from that same intuitive painting class, tip in of a jelly print magazine resist. Yeah, I don't know what it means, folks. Don't know. Also, another one from that class that, well, that's clearly a gesture and there's a castle and I don't know what those people are doing. That might be a dragon over there. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, more masking. You can see that's the same silhouette that was on the other one, just flipped the, the opposite direction. That's a person sitting on a chair. I think I had intended at some point in time to like sketch in a you know a throne or a chair or something but you know what didn't get to it that's cool Ooh, and this is spray paint i can tell because it's like scritchy scratchy can you guys hear that so i went through a a pretty intense spray paint phase um which i loved i love spray paint graffiti love all of that Ooh, this is another good one where i was doing spray paint and magazine cutouts resist. Um, you can really see the spray paint here on this one. Another one, magazine resists over spray paint and a crazy background. More of the same. I think there's some collage tissue paper underneath there as well. Um, this is an image. I don't think this is a jelly print magazine transfer. I think this is actually a picture. Um, like a page from a magazine and I think the reason is that I really loved these images and I think I tried doing a jelly plate resist 
or transfer with one of them and it just did not take. So I was like, I'm not messing with the rest of them. I'm just gonna put them straight in there. But you know, lots of texture and stencils and color and here I'm incorporating some words and just, I love the purples and the greens and oh, this is crazy. Um, this looks like a bunch of watercolor experiments, just mark making. Oh yeah, definitely watercolor. And it looks like I was using it pretty thick. Um, ooh, that's pretty. That pink and yellow kind of bleeding into each other. That's nice. Another one from that intuitive painting class. I don't know. Apparently, I that looks like a snake to me. But apparently, I had a thing for snakes because that's the second time that it showed up. Um, this was... Um, a page that I did all about the raven. I love ravens. I think they're smart and clever and social and intuitive and jokesters and I just love ravens. Um, and I also was really into like the color gradation in mountain ranges. So I think I was practicing that as well. The background looks like a bunch of watercolors. So that's kind of fun. Another random page from that intuitive painting class. I have no idea what this thing is all about. It's kind of weird, but it has no arms. Maybe it's a almost looks like a gesture jester. Could be a could be horns. I don't know. I don't know. I try not to overanalyze it too much. Um, let's see here. These are I think magazine pages that I painted over. Yes, definitely. Um, oh gosh, I'm blanking on her name, but that's the woman from, um, oh, what's it called? The show, oh my God. See, I haven't been sleeping well and my brain is just not working. I can't remember her name. Um, it'll come to me. I don't know shit about fuck. That's what she, she always, that's her. Um, shit, I can't think of the show. Love that show. Great show. Um, another really weird page from that intuitive painting class. Skull, skull with legs and octopus legs coming out of a bowl. And I don't know what, that almost looks like a figure with a big long hand coming out. And there's a bird sitting in the hand and some kind of weird bunny man down here. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty weird. Um, but again, try not to overanalyze it too much. Oh, I love this one. Um, just messing around, right? There's lots of texture in her hair. Um, I think I put down craft paint and then took probably the lid to something and just while it was wet just stamped it in there um yep and I probably have Stabilo and some other random stuff but I really like her more spray paint more masking actually this one might have been the opposite I might have used the outside of the images that I cut out to actually fill it in more like a stencil. Um, I think that's what, I think that's what happened here. You can kind of see like where the hands are all messy and whatnot. Oh, and we're at the end. There you go. We are at the end. I have a couple more journals that I'll do flip throughs for. Um, they will be separate videos, but if you liked this flip through, give me a shout, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you liked. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, let me know. Um, yeah, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing here on YouTube. Um, and I would love your feedback. All right, that's it for tonight friends, and I will be back soon. Peace out.